here celebrating the installation of the first fare gate uh, on our transit system in Metro Vancouver. Uh, it really speaks volumes about just continuing to improve Metro Vancouver's transit system. Uh, the fare gates are going to do a couple of things. One, they're going to make the platforms much safer, I think, for the traveling public. As well, it will help avoid fare evasion. That has been a, a topic that has been near and dear to the public of British Columbia for a long time now. And for everyone that avoids paying their toll or fare, it drives the cost up for the law-abiding citizens. This is going to go a long way to uh, alleviate that. This is a partnership. Uh, one more example of a great partnership between the province, the federal government, and TransLink. So this is a very significant physical milestone for us. It takes all parties, and that's where the provincial government has a very, very important role in this, to help us be able to fund, to tie it in with the Fairgate system, which allows you to redeploy staff, police, SkyTrain attendants, others, where there aren't fare evasion problems. This is the beginning of a whole new era in transportation in Metro Vancouver. This not only is going to prevent fare evasion, which is an issue that we are, all are very aware of, but it's going to open the door for the new Compass Card, for Smart Card technology, for all of the things that are going to enhance the transportation system in this province and starting here in Metro Vancouver. And I want to say thank you to the federal government, the provincial government, for the partnership that they brought to the table. And if I can be so bold, this is only the beginning. And we know that it takes those partnerships to ensure a transit system is going to build healthy communities. And that's what this is all about, is helping us to develop healthy, safe communities for my grandchildren, for your grandchildren, and for future generations.